I thought all of this was over. Your license number has been noted and is recorded. If this vehicle is parked in this area again, we will have it towed away and booted at your expense. I just, I don't understand. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we jump into the video today, I want you guys, one, go hit the subscribe button, please. I want you guys to go subscribe. Most of you aren't subscribed that watch these videos and it would mean a lot to me. Also, the guys over at JW Motorsports are doing a giveaway for a CTS3 monitoring system. Make sure you guys go check out JW underscore motorsports.co on Instagram. Enter the giveaway. Your chances are great. They're giving away great products and this is the first of many giveaways that they are doing. But you can tell, you can tell I'm a little upset today. The uh, title in the thumbnail tells it all. I just, I, I really, I don't even, I just genuinely don't know what to say. I thought, I really, I thought all of this was over. I thought it was done, paid our little $50. That was it, I thought we were done, but apparently not. Before, before we jump into the video today, later on in the video, we're gonna put a fuel treatment, because I think I've run all the gas out of this thing, except just a little bit. So me and Shamar behind the camera are gonna go put some new gas and a fuel treatment in this. So there is some truck content in this video, but first, I gotta show you guys what I woke up to this morning. I didn't film it this morning, because I just, I wanted a genuine reaction from some of the guys here at the shop. Look, look, look at this shit. This is what I woke up to this morning. So, okay, let me get up here so I can, so I can read and they can, and they can hear it. So, warning, you have parked in a private parking area. Your license number has been noted and is recorded. If this vehicle is parked in this area again, we will have it towed away and booted at your expense. Now, I've already talked to Amy from the HOA. Like, literally, I've talked to these people multiple times. Uh, we're starting to build the relationship back. I just, I genuinely don't know where this is coming from. I, I don't even think I was parked in the street last night. I parked in the street for like 15 minutes. So, it had to, honestly, it had to have been done in my driveway because I wasn't parked. We went to Target last night, so I don't know when they could have done this. I, I genuinely, I just, I don't understand. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna call Amy today before we leave work and try and figure out what the hell's going on. And they put it in the middle of my fucking windshield. Like, really? Are you serious? I'm gonna be so upset if this doesn't come off very well. Okay, it's not that bad. All right. Oh, I was gonna be so upset. If that was like one of those, you know how the ones that are on the side of the road, they put the DOT stickers on there and they're just like super just shitty to get like off. Like you tear it off, it's like residue and stuff. It's just like stuff. residue and yeah. it like tears off in little pieces. Like they literally have gone to a new height. They, they, fuck man. I didn't even get a letter or anything this time. That's all, that's all they put on there is that. But at the same time, I, I'm just gonna call Amy because I, I can't. I I don't know what the fuck. I don't know. I'm a little I'm a little upset about this whole HOA thing. Like I said earlier in the video, we're gonna actually have some truck content. So today is the first day. I think I finally run all the gas out of this thing. We're finally gonna put some new gas in it, and we're gonna put a Lucas Oil Lucas Oil upper cylinder lubricant and injector cleaner gasoline and diesel you could buy this at AutoZone, wherever the hell you know any of those local little shops but we're gonna put some new gas in it put one of these in it hopefully clean up some of the old gas that's left in this tank that hadn't been used in a couple years and hopefully this will help some of the misfires and the truck almost dying when we first started but i'm gonna pass the camera off and we'll get a, a true cold start today this hadn't oh, been, yeah this hadn't been started i think since i moved it yesterday so at least 24 hours all right here we go Hey, that fired right up. I mean, it fires right up every single time. It just has that little bit of like the... It's not doing it now. Hmm. I don't know. It's kind of weird. All the lights start coming on. There's an airbag light and the change oil light. Probably should change this oil. Oh! <laughs> Actually, oh. see, I don't know why it cuts out. You can really hear it now that the exhaust is cut off. I don't know why it does that, but once it does it a couple times, it doesn't do it anymore. Should we just go up this way or should we go the back way? We'll go the back way. Yeah. Back way has less lights and shit. 
more turn, more fun. But we can, uh, <laughs> this shift. It pops a little bit. Oh, I got all kinds of crap flying around back there. It still blows my mind that, that this thing has disc brakes on the back. Like, that's so amazing. Must be nice because I got drums. My pedal goes all the way, or I put my foot all the way to the floor and it's like not going any faster. It's just going. It's like <laughs> this thing has little to no power i mean it's a v6 it's pretty quick for for a v6 and i honestly feel like cutting the exhaust off kind of opened it up a little bit i feel like it's a little bit a little bit quicker and maybe that's just me i don't know but having that big ass muffler on there probably did kind of muffle it down a little bit as far as the speed goes but i'm pretty excited look it's a tahoe with the escalated lights on it oh crazy i'm excited because me and james are taking yes me and james i think shamar is gonna be here tomorrow to help us too we're taking the bed off this thing tomorrow so i'm pretty the the drop shackles haven't been here so we won't get to see what it looks like with the drop shackles on it while the bed's on it to see how much it actually lowers it but i'm pretty excited because we're gonna take the bed off and i'm sure the bed's at least a couple hundred pounds right yeah it ain't bad especially a long bed but yeah. i think that's gonna help with the weight reduction so. <laughs> you're gonna drive with the bed off yeah well why not you think you think that'll make the truck uh you think it'll make it faster oh it's gonna be hella light talk about doing burnouts then oh it'll probably rip a fat burnout then because it'll have nothing back there i hope it's a little bit faster that'll be a lot funner to drive around with if it's oh if it's a little bit but faster. you'll have no tail lights you gotta be careful i bet i could zip time to the frame or something <laughs> there's got to be a way that we can put them on there We'll figure out something. All right, all right, Alex, you gotta give it all you got on I'm this to, one. I'm about to pedal to the floor, I'm about to, oh, don't die on this. I'm about to give it hell. <laughs> hey, 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 I was, I was skirting tire was a, that, that, was a little, that was a little skirt skirt. I was skirting tire on the way around the corner, okay? I have way too much fun. I'm gonna get in trouble with this truck. I'm, I'm saying it right now on the channel. I'm gonna get in trouble with this truck. Yeah, guys, because he can't do anything with his truck like this. <laughs> Announce your presence. <laughs> A guy over there was just looking at us like, what the hell are these kids doing? Which side is the gas? Oh, it's on the side. did you put on the pump like 15 bucks I'm curious to see what $15 gets you in this $15 put 93 in it no cheap shit <laughs> how I much need, is gas I need to clean that out it's like 190 90 we're pressure wash the frame more take the bed off clean the rest of it up that was a little race truck. <laughs> I wonder how hard it is to put a turbo on that thing. Shouldn't be hard at all. A little turbo on a V6? It'll spool. It'll spool. That'd be nasty. I might as well have some fun with it. Yeah. God, how slow are we pumping? Good night. Good old chicken dicks. Oh, yeah. And, um, let's sleep quick. <laughs> You gotta eat it from the side. Yeah, then it's not gay. You can't eat it. Don't eat and drive, folks.
I put you at? A little under half. Oh, okay. It's not dying out right now. Where's your oil light go? Oh, it's just a change oil message. It's not dying out right now. I'm not saying it works instantly, but... Well, the real test will be in the morning. Yeah. When I go to crank it in the morning, that'll be the real test. So when I wake up in the morning, guys, in the video tomorrow, you guys will see, you guys will see if this actually worked. I mean, it seems to be working right now. It seems like it's driving pretty good. How about to say, how's your pedal feel? I mean, it almost sounds like it's running better. A little bit, or maybe it's just me. I don't know. The plate's even open. No. I'm kind of leaning right now towards keeping the long bed. I feel like once it's lowered, the long bed won't look that bad. No. No? It won't look bad. And you won't really be able to tell once the bed's off anymore. Runs and drives. It's just... Parking next to my old beater, my other beater. You don't have any room. I don't have a beer on this side, though. So I can't even see. I can't see the curb. I can't see the curb. Oh, you nailed it. I would have felt it if it did. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the content today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Let's get this f***ing bread. This is bread, baby. That's what I'm talking about.